little tip, um, something we harp on a whole lot at uh, TPLA, and that's when doing orbits or doing spins, uh, we do not open our hand, okay? We see a lot of people doing this, which is, we say, we always say it's okay to, uh, to do, you know, if you're just doing it for looks and stuff like that. However, um, we have a pretty big aversion to it, um, and that's for a very good reason. Um, when you're orbiting, you want your, your hand to be on it and tight, okay? So you got a good, firm grip. Now, not overly tight. We don't want to choke up on it like this. We still need it to be able to move. So you see I have a little bit of space in here, but my thumb and my fingers never come apart, okay? So I always have this here, and it's always just a little bit loose so I can I can turn it in the hand right and I can change the orientation of this hand if I want to okay now the reason that we do that is because of the way the hand is working now if we tend to see somebody who's doing this and they're really kind of lackadaisical with their hand so right well just, well we'll just go here, okay, is disarms, okay, and we've done these before, it's essentially moving it in a circle very, very quickly to try to get it to pop out between the thumb and the finger right there, okay, so what that looks here in, in full speed, So, and it, and it works both ways. If I go here, okay, oh, let's try it again. Good. Okay, so now, the trick to it is, when I, if I see that he doesn't have a good grip on his hand, I'm going to take this down around and try to fling it like that. And you see how it just kind of slips right out there. So if I go here, and just try to go around his hand, now, that won't work if he's got proper grip and he has been practicing his orbits because that's a great way to get out of that is with your orbits. If I go here like this, you do it to me, okay. all right, is I just orbit. You see? I don't have to do a whole lot of movement. Go again? Yep. Okay. All right, it just comes out. If I'm holding with two hands, like that. Okay. Now with two hands, when he goes over here like this, all right, I have to make sure that I let go over here. Right? Or circle again. Uh -huh, be able to move with him. Okay? So the orbits are really, really important in that in that respect. Now if I'm over this way and I go, you just You have to go quick, okay? Now, <clears throat> so he can, he can get out of this, right? It's hard sometimes, okay? But that's, that's, that's the thing, right? When I bind up here like that, right? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna try to get that. It's not something that's gonna come up a whole lot, but if you see the opportunity, it is something that does work, okay? Like I said, it doesn't, it's not a huge opportunity that you're gonna see a whole lot, right? Because the, the problem most people have is they choke. They choke up on it and hold it with a death grip. That's really the whole purpose. And it's one of the reasons that we do practice orbits, okay? Um, in the Chinese systems, very, very, they're, they're very common um, because they do look nice. Uh, they're just called sword flowers. Uh, here's three sword flowers. There's five sword flowers, right? And you just do combinations of all of those, and this is the whole reason. So that when somebody is manipulating our saber or our weapon, trying to get it out of our hand, we can kind of go with it. Now, if we get into a grappling situation here, right, where now they'll have one-handed, 
right? If we're here and he grabs for me here, like there, and I grab him by the by the back of his saber, right? The way that I want to pull it is toward his thumb, okay? What happens a lot of times is this. You get up into here, and then you try to go this way, and you're trying to see, you're trying to pry it out through the big end, because you, you, you assume the thumb is, is, is strong, or, but it's not, okay? You want to go this way, because it just pops right out. Go ahead, hold on to it real tight. <laughs> right? Okay, comes off really, really easy. So that's what you have to remember. So even when we're in here like this, if we want to go for that disarm, you've got to take it over here and go toward the thumb, pry it out of the hand that way. The same thing goes here when I go, when I do it slow, right? It's right here where I'm trying to get his hand not to bend, and now I can just use my saber to pop it right out of the hand, okay? Um, again, you have to be pretty good and on your game to get one of those things in a, in a match. Um, but it does happen, and it is, it is a viable technique. The way you guard against it is by practicing your orbits, by practicing uh, holding on to your saber, your guards, your strikes, all of that with proper grip, making sure that you're not killing it, and you, you, you're not just... Uh, holding it like that, all right? <laughs> so we want it like this. We do not want it like this, okay? All right, so that was just a little explanation of why we do it and some of the applications for later on when uh, you get better with it. Okay, well, thanks to Ryan again. Thanks, sir. thanks to you for tuning in. We will see you next time. Have a great day. Happy sabering!